Welcome to Mariposa. This is uh, my father's store. He started it in, well, 1969, building bikes. And there's quite a large collection of his antique bikes here, which he'll talk to you about in a minute. I'm Michael Berry. He's Mike Berry. I'm Mike. And uh, I grew up in a cycling environment, which is in the, working in the shop, racing, racing bikes and learning from my father. Anyways, we'll show you a little bit around the workshop. Right now we're, bu we've been, we're building steel bikes and uh, race bikes, touring bikes, uh, cyclocross bikes, everything but mountain bikes really. A bike to suit everybody's needs. I've got a lot of my old bike collection all hanging from the rafters. And that's the first Mariposa built. Um, it was a built in for the Delhi Velodrome back in those days. During my professional cycling career, I always wanted to come back. Uh, I always thought of coming back to Toronto when I retired to learn how to build a bike with my father. You know, I grew up immersed in the bike shop. I was, spent a lot of time in the shop uh, right up until I was 19, 20 years old and went over to live in Europe. And during that period, I, you know, I, was, I learned a ton just from having been immersed in it and uh, around the mechanics all the time. I played on the, the shop floor. So it was really something that was a part of me. But, um, you know, I built, I built a, the first bike I built with my dad was when I was 11 years old. We were in the workshop and after school, uh, I, would go down to, I would go down to the workshop and uh, we'd work on this, a bike together. And that became my school bike and I rode it back and forth. Long story short, when I was racing as a pro professional, I, I wanted to come back and build a bike with my dad, even though he was you know, no longer building frames. I thought it would be something wonderful to, to learn and then to pass on to my children one day. And so um, I came back and I built a bike and the idea was to build a bike and, uh, and take it on a tour. During that process, I thought, well, I, I really enjoyed it and I like spending time here with him. And, uh, and, I, and, and then Didi became involved as well and it became a real you know, family business affair and we were all having fun doing it. And so I thought, well, this is, something that maybe we could make a career of and we should get Mariposa going again. And he had been building the bikes for over 30 years. So, um, so and there was a lot of history there and it was, uh, it was a real a family brand. So uh, we, we decided to start the business up again. And that was in, in two years ago, roughly now. And uh, we built a good number of bikes since then. And it's, there's a, a constant learning curve, like with anything, it's a, it's a craft, it's an art, it's also a business. So it's really, it's something that I don't think even, I don't know, you can say, I don't know if you've ever perfected it. Um, you have, there's, <laughs> there's bikes that come together really nicely and you love how they look and, uh, and you're proud of them, but there's, uh, you can, you're always working harder, learning new things. There's new innovation, new technology. So that's something that's, it's, it's great about it. I got into it back in 69. I always wanted to be a, a frame builder. Um, I, when I was in England, I hung around frame builders in, in London area. Uh, in those days, there were a lot of them, and uh, I'd go and see what sort of work they did and how they did it, and, um, and I, something that I really wanted to do. So in 69, along with a friend of mine, we rented a, a, another friend's basement and we set up a frame shop, and right from the start, I think the bikes were quite good. We sold a lot of bikes to people riding the Delhi Velodrome. That was our, our first market, and uh, and went from there. But I've yes always liked to produce something. You know, f f physically produce something. So working with steel is is um, something I've always really enjoyed doing whether it be brazing or working on a lathe or a milling machine or whatever. When you produce something yourself, it's a good satisfaction. One reason that we think steel is a great material to work with, to build bikes with, is that it, it is comfortable, it does absorb impact, it's very resilient, it fractures differently if it does fracture than in a crash. Um, than a lot of other materials do. It fatigues differently. And um, steel bikes are, the bikes that we build are for life, really. We have customers who come in. It's been remarkable in the last couple of years since we started. 
people who ride bikes that were built in the 70s and 80s and they come back to have them repainted and they still ride them all the time or bikes that have been crashed we can replace you know replace a tube and the bike is fine and they can keep riding it for another 20 years and that's something very unique and and one of the the great um, advantages of a steel frame i don't know who it was but uh, recently someone said if steel was invented today it would be considered the material of the future and and it, I mean, in a lot of ways it is. Ride, as I said earlier, riding a steel bike is something that's um, it's extremely comfortable yet responsive. And now there are all sorts of new alloys that have come out. So even though I hadn't, I've been away racing in Europe for a good period of time, 15 years or something like that or more, um, I, uh, I've, you know, I slid quite, back, quite easily back into it all and uh, I really enjoy it. 